Welcome back. You can find lots of unique eats in Chicago, and this weekend you can catch them all in one place. That's right. One of the largest food festivals in the entire country now going on in the Windy City. I recently headed to Chicago to take a taste. Take a look. In a few block radius in Chicago's Grant Park this weekend, you have your share of African food, Chinese, Middle Eastern, Vietnamese, Polish, Irish, vegan, Mexican, and Latin Indian fusion, just to name a few. With hundreds of thousands of people to attend over the nearly two-week period, we decided to get here early, right when the gates open. After buying our tickets sold in strips of 12 for $8, it was time to start chowing down. Taste of Chicago has officially started. Where to first? 60 restaurants. Why not start off with dessert? We're going to head over to Eli's Cheesecake. At each restaurant, you can get full orders or taste portions, which are good-sized samples of some of the most popular dishes. Even the pickiest of eaters can find something. You won't have a shortage of caloric consumption at this festival. Here, all diets are off. We're looking for cheese fries and Italian ice. It's really good. We've had the tacos right here and we had a uh, bratwurst sausage. Garrett's Popcorn is a Chicago institution. Come get a popcorn, Sakal. And offered me something I couldn't resist. Popcorn dipped in caramel and liquid nitrogen. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. It's delicious. Open your mouth. There you go. <laughs> like college. We thought it'd be a great treat for the, for the summertime, taste of Chicago, frozen treat, something uh, a little different from the ordinary. So we just dip it in there for about three or four seconds and it instantly freezes our uh, popcorn. We found some ladies from Michiana who make the taste a rite of passage every year. Sweet potato fries, we have, we had the grilled chicken kebab, which is really good with the chimichurri. And they come prepared. We have a map. And we do that and we plot them every year about where we want to yeah. stop. Yeah, some folks do stop to eat, but others perfect their skills of walking and snacking, especially with some of the taste's most popular items, like corn on the cob dipped in butter or the ginormous plate of potato chips from Harry Carey's, freshly peeled with the help of a household power drill. Is that enough? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we got enough, yeah. Being in the Windy City at Harry Carey's, I just couldn't help myself. Let me hear your best Harry Carey impression. Oh, I don't know if I, uh... Cubs win! Cubs win! Holy cow! Cubs win! Cubs win! Chicago Jones, it's hot to go! Say what? What? A classic Chicago dog or the city's famous pizza is never more than a few steps away, as is plenty of ice cream, deep fried ravioli, turkey legs the size of bowling pins, or killer chicken kebabs. We try like 30 different items when we come here. It's kind of like a giant tapas bar. Yeah, it is. It's like a huge buffet. A buffet with no shortage of options, be it a full plate or just a taste. Now the Taste of Chicago runs through tomorrow for full list of restaurants and times. Head to WNDU.com and click the big red bar. Mm -hmm. I was so full. I'll bet. Ooh. That guy's got to work on his Harry Carey, though. I got to work on <laughs> my impression of Harry Carey.